going to show you how to glue and clamp a bench top together. Before you start a gluing job like this, you need to make sure you have all your tools set out. As you can see, I've got my clamps already set out. I've arranged my timber, made sure everything fits before I start gluing and have any other extra tools on standby that I might need. You'll also see that I've got clamps uh, at the bottom and at the top. The purpose for that is the top clamp will counteract the pressure from the bottom clamp and stop the boards bowing up. Uh, that's not always the case, but sometimes when we apply pressure to our boards, um, the clamp will cause them to buckle up, so we're trying to keep them sit flat. These don't always counteract that either, so I've got some F clamps and some extra bits of wood that I can clamp into place and pull on my boards flat, hold them flat while the glue sets. So it is better if you have someone to help when you're doing big jobs. Make sure we get enough glue on there so it just squeezes out. I don't like putting too uh, little on there. I like my jobs to be strong. And I like them to last. Doesn't matter if it oozes out, just wipe it off with a, a damp cloth. Make sure our ends are all square. Okay, I'm ready to clamp that up now. So I've got scrap wood to go between the jaws of my clamps and my wood so I don't put dents into my good wood. Don't clamp them all the way up, or you don't want to tighten them all the way up yet. You want to get everything sitting roughly. We're going to make sure all the ends of our boards line up. Okay. This is where our second set of hands is helpful. Put everything in place. Make sure everything's lined up and start tightening up. Down this end, I can see that one of my boards is bowed up, so I'm gonna have to put on some extra clamps. Tighten that end up quite yet on this end. Right now, wipe off the extra glue because we're gonna lay a piece of wood across the top and we don't want it to get stuck to our tabletop. So 
I'll be using some F clamps and a sturdy piece of wood that's not going to bend. So we're actually going to clamp the F clamps onto our clamp, not onto the wood. Pulls that down flat onto the sash clamp so that when our boards are released from the clamp, the glue is all dried with the board straight and it should maintain its shape. Do the same at the other end. See the boards are pulling down flat now. Clamps are tight. Wipe off any excess glue out of the joints. So this is called a widening joint. Whenever we two glue two boards together to make them wider, it's a widening joint. Okay, so. That's it, if I had enough clamps I'd have another one across the middle, but that's the best I can do with what I've got. So that's how you glue and clamp whenever you're doing a widening joint.